Hi, Gemini. This is Moon Pie Tarot doing your next 10 days love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hope you all are well and are having a very happy new year. So let's get right to your reading. I'm going to be using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot and then clarifying, pulling some cards with the Moonology deck and loving words from Jesus. Okay. So as you can see here, Gemini, oh, and please make sure you hit the subscribe, like, uh, button. You have the Ace of Cups. So what, well, actually your person. So I'm going to take a look at your person's energy and then take a look at yours. So whomever you're connecting with, the Ace of Cups is here. Um, this person may be, uh, they see a potential love situation here that has the potential to grow, whether this is someone new or someone you're currently connecting with. Um, this could mean um, it was definitely a blessing. Okay. Universe is bringing this. Uh, spirit is bringing this coming down from the heavens. This is uh, your person feels their cup is overflowing. They have a lot of love to give. Um, this could have something to do with uh, there's the Ace of Cups is like energy of um, potential for key emotional developments or things that make you feel or make somebody feel like I'm just hearing someone feeling they are so lucky to have met you. Okay. Um, for some of you, this could be a water sign. Um, this card can have to do with admitting, admitting, I'm hearing admittance. I'm hearing, um, for some of you, it's something to do with like baptism, blessings, births, um, marriage, um, anything that brings emotional joy and fulfillment. Okay. It's like receiving a gift, receiving a gift of a blessing of some sort. So your person, whomever you're connecting with does have that energy going on for them right now. All right. These next 10 days coming up, let's take a look and see what else is happening here. This is new love for a lot of you that you may not be connecting with someone at all. And this is an energy of someone, you know, there's new love, okay, coming from somebody. Oh, look, you also have the Knight of Pentacles, Gemini. So there's definitely an offer. And since this is a love reading, this is like a tangible, solid offer coming into you from your person. Could be a gift. It could be a proposal, um, an engagement ring, um, or an engagement this could be somebody coming from far away. We do have the emperor here. So this is someone who is taking the lead. This could even be an offer for a date. It's, it feels like brand new energy. And if you are, you know, you have someone on your mind or someone you're connecting with, the energy of this person kind of it feels new. All right. There's also father figure here. So that might be some type of an influence. Okay. These cards are just flying out the page of wands. This is really good news coming from your person to you. Let me move these a little bit. See if I can get these all here. I feel like there is someone who is very enthusiastic. Uh, this could be an Aries for some of you, but the emperor, this is like someone who sits in a position of authority or they have a heavy influence by a, an authority figure or a father figure. Let's take a look and see what else is going on. Then I'm going to pull a clarifying card for the emperor. Oh, gosh. Oh my goodness. All right. We have a couple of cards flew out here. You see, we have the hermit. We have the Six of Cups. That's reconciliation. Somebody's been thinking about this, thinking about making a sincere offer to you. We have the King of Wands, which is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a major shift and change coming from this person. Now, it doesn't have to be, it's male or female, right? Because we're just looking at energies. I'm, I'm feeling like a proposal. Either someone is coming back into your life. Um, 
who's been thinking about you. They're, they've been reminiscing, thinking about the past, contemplating, reflecting on the past. Your, your, Gemini, your, your reading is just so straightforward. An apology for some of you. I don't know if you've been connected with someone and you guys kind of like had a split or something, or some kind of breakup or something, or some however long. This person went went in inside, internal. There's Virgo energy as well. This person went inward. And it just feels like with the Six of Cups, you know, they're not stuck in the past, but they've been thinking about you and especially these next 10 days really have you on their mind, like in their heart space. I'm feeling a big shift, a big change here and communication from this person. This is like um, excitement, enthusiasm. They see growth. Look at how he's this, this page is looking at the top of that wand. They see growth here with you. It, this is really, it just feels like very exciting energy. And it's this, this king who holds the, the, he holds this staff. And it's like, yes, yes. A lot of Aries energy here. And we do have Leo as well. But again, it doesn't matter who your person is, whoever you're connecting with. I just feel like this person is like, it's time now. It's time for Gemini and, and I either to have a, have a child or start dating or get into, you know, um, a deeper committed relationship. Um, this person is really taking the lead or will be taking the lead. Even if there's just an offer for a date, um, you know, even if you don't know this person, they may already be a parent, like a, a father or a mother. They may have children. They, this person, I feel like either they're thinking about having another child. Okay. If you have children with them or they're thinking about having children, they're also contemplating whether or not to introduce you to their children. Okay. For a lot of you, this is um, somebody wants to have a child. Contemplating telling a father figure or a father that um, there's a baby on the way or um, you and your person are, are maybe in talks about having a child. I mean, it's, it's a favorable time these next 10 days. It feels like the, the wheels are being put in motion. I don't know why I have so much hesitation to talk. And I think it's because it may be something that is under wraps. And, you know, the hermit has a hard time talking. He doesn't really talk all that much. So it's more like, this is more like contemplative energy. But there's good news coming from your person. Good positive news with the Page of Wands. Let me pull a couple of clarity, extra clarifier cards. Let's take a look at the Hermit. Oh, wow. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. There's definitely an emotional offer coming here from somebody to you. marriage, child, children, um, someone admires you or has been, they've been thinking about you for quite some time, thinking, thinking about how, all that you've been through, thinking about your past. If this is someone new, um, thinking about their childhood and, um, uh, how they need to grow up. I'm hearing somebody's like, it's time for me to grow up and make this offer and, and get the wheel turning with Gemini. Um, and again, it's talking about with the Knight of Cups, like offering their cup of love, you know, sincerity, 
I want you to meet my kids or I want you to or I want to have children or I want to have another child. You know what you choose to do with that, whatever your situation is, as I say, we all have free will. So, you know, we can do whatever we wish is best for us. Just because the cards are telling us something doesn't mean that it's, you know, the way it has to be. Let's take a look at the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, gosh. Progress, partnership, definitely. Wow, Gemini. We have beautiful cards here for these next 10 days. And listen, if the 10 days come and go and nothing happens, this energy could, uh, it'll happen at any time. We're just looking at the possibilities for the next 10 days. This could be at the end of January. Let's take a look at you and your energy. Okay, look, you have the sun. This uh, Ace of Cups thing is going to make you very happy. Look at that child. It's playful energy. I don't know feel like there's something to do here with having another child or introducing someone's children um, or uh, or a marriage or some kind of proposal or, you know, taking something to the next level, renewing vows, um, baptisms, uh, or mitzvahs, you know, it just really depends, whatever, you know, anything that, that it's like a, it's like a key emotional thing that's happening here. You know, things that bring family together, things that bring people together and that we all celebrate and are joyous about. Announcement or news of a pregnancy or a child or talking about having another. Um, let's take a look at the sun. It's very positive. That's Leo energy there. I did say Leo already. I just feel like you're going to be feel very, very happy. And the chariot, cancer energy, because there's movement forward happening here. That's what's making you happy. There's like, we have a plan. There's a plan that gets made. There's like something put in stone. And it's like, we're going to talk about this and we're going to go forward. And it, it makes you feel good and very positive. Travel as well for some of you. Somebody, you know, maybe explain, saying to you they're going to come see you or they're... Or they're um, you know, it could be very symbolic or very physical movement. All right. So you have the nine, nine of wands. So there you go, Gemini questioning, <laughs> you know, this offer that comes in at first, it's not going to seem uh, very romantic, but this person's intentions are to be romantic towards you, but you're kind of like, give you your guard up a little bit. You may just feel like, oh, you know, and it could be like, I'm not sure if I can get pregnant again. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I need to think about it. I need to strategize or figure out um, what to say and when to say it. I feel like it's going to make you feel good, but you are going to think about it. You're going to take a step back and try to figure out how this is going to happen or how this could work. And this is the Wounded Warrior card. So this could have something to do with like this soldier has been to battle once before. Questioning, can I do this again? Am I able to do this again? Whether get in another relationship or, um, you know, make these big changes to your life. Am I able to do this? Can I? Some of you are, um, you have someone, you're connecting with someone in a warm environment. I will just say that if there's travel, um, something to do with the sun, um, hot heat, traveling to a, a warm environment or you're in one and someone is coming to you. Let's see what else is going on here for you. Okay. So the night, I'm uh, sorry, the nine of cups. So you have two nines. Somebody's needing approval from a father figure or a male, a heavy like authority influence. Um, and I feel like if that's the story, that the approval will come. It will be a yes. It will be good. But I see you here in the nine of cups. Like at first, you just have a little bit of doubt going forward these next 10 days. But I feel like you also... This is something that you wanted. This is the wish card. And you may have been wishing for this. 
So a little bit of doubt, a little bit of hmm, questioning. I feel like it's self-doubt. You know, can I do this again? Should I do this again? But at the same time, it's like, yes, I want this. I want this. This is going to make me very content and very happy. You may be already in the Nine of Cups, and then this final cup that comes in brings it to the Ten of Cups, which would be a major commitment, some type of a major commitment. Wow. So they have the Wheel of Fortune, and you have the world. So this is a major shift. This is a new cycle. Listen, Gemini, when I say cycle, and then it's under the page of wands, this could have something to do if you're female with your feminine cycle. Um, some of you might not be sure if you can have children again, if you're female. If you're male, it just could be like not sure if you, you know, you could have issues there, um, reproductive issues if you're male as well. But it could also just be like not sure if you can do this again, having a little bit of doubt, but at the same time really wanting to have it with both of these cards here. Um, and if we're not even talking about uh, pregnancies for some of you, if that doesn't resonate, this just has something to do with... Um, Someone's just been thinking about you for a really long time, reminiscing about you, coming back into your life, or it's someone new who just wants to make an offer and see how things go. I mean, you're definitely ready for a new chapter. And because the world card is here, the Roman numerals are 21. So that represents 2021 to me. And this is a new start that's happening for you this year. So we do have, again, Leo, we have Taurus, we have Scorpio and Aquarius, Cancer, Aries, um, Sagittarius, Virgo, for those of you who need to know. Let's see what else. Yeah, look at you. You have three nines in your spread. Oh, boy. You're going to be doing a heck of a lot of thinking and stressing a little bit. And I feel like rightfully so, because what's coming in for you feels like a big surprise. It might have you stressed or having to put your walls up or needing to take a step back about this because maybe you didn't feel like this could happen or you weren't sure that you deserve this or you just are kind of like in awe about whatever the situation is. You know, it's someone from your past coming back and confessing to you that they've missed you or they've been thinking about you, been on their mind. Want to try again for some of you. Um, and if you're currently with someone, you know, even if you're single, I do feel like this is someone from your past returning. We have the Queen of Swords down here. So, you know, this is... This is Virgo energy as well as Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. But there's this, whoever this person is, male or female, are coming in to talk to you and be truthful with you and, and you know, clear the air about some things. Let's put a clarification card on the world. And also the Queen of Cups. Checking our emotions. That's definitely where you're going to be doing. Stressing mentally probably like backing off a little bit physically so you can just figure out or strategize how you're going to do this. But you're being asked in this new year is to follow your heart, follow your heart. Your heart has the answers to this situation because your fears could be leading you, but it's your heart that you need to take a look at. Look at that big cup because here's that cup coming in and here's you receiving it and looking at it and saying, Oh, can I open my heart? Look at all the cherubs. Something to do with February 14th for sure. Staying grounded in your emotions, not revealing too much, but going within really in this new year to figure out, you know, how do I really feel about this? I see there's love here and there, there are emotions and feelings for whomever this person is. Let's take a look 
One, I just want to, okay. Yep. Right on the chariot. Seven of Pentacles. Contemplating. Can I do this? Am I able to do this? Will this work out for me? Should I do this? How do I do this? Lots of questions. This is always my question card. There should be a question mark somewhere here. Do I have enough money? Will there be enough money or finances or finances? Are they going to be stable or good enough? With this shift and this major change in energy that's coming through. So you have a lot of questions, you know, um, it, it's very positive energy on your end. But then there are some doubts and a, a bit of anxiety. Everything is positive on this person's end. They are 100% sure they've been really thinking about this. And um, are coming in to make the offer. Let's get a couple of cards from the Moonology deck. And see what the messages are here for you. Let's see if he show us. Please show Gemini messages from the Moonology deck. What do you want them to know? All right, two cards here. Don't let pride get in your way. Moon and Leo. So for some of you who have a moon in Leo, that would be a specific message. Actually, three cards, which is perfect. Don't let pride get in your way. Sometimes the nine of wands can be a card of pride. Wow, we've been hurt before. We've been wounded before. We're not sure that we can go back and do that. Um, putting those walls and boundaries up, feeling too prideful. Be careful of that energy. You also have you are good enough. Moon in Virgo. So specifically for those with the moon in Virgo, if not, uh, the message is just, you know, you are worthy of this. You are good enough. And I feel like your person feels that way about you. You also have the energy is gaining momentum with a waxing moon, you know, so it's going to come full circle for both of you. This is victory, the world that's full circle. Everything's changing in 2021. Some of you may have been involved with this person for 10 years, um, but the 10 is here and that represents the 10 days, the cycle completion and moving forward. So, you know, it is gaining momentum. Things are shifting and turning both in your favor. There's a new start and a new chapter here happening. I know it all sounds very general and quite cliche, but I feel like the hesitation is more so on your part. And I feel that you are thinking to yourself that it's justified why it would be hesitating, you hesitating. Um, you may have been already around the circle with someone here in the past, uh, but it's coming back again. It's coming back around again. And for those of you who are just like completely single, there is someone new coming into your life um, that you're going to hear from. And it's great positive news. It's something that you want, um, but you're just a little hesitant uh, you're stressing about it just a wee bit because you might actually fall head over heels for this person based on the way they come towards you. Let's get a message from Doreen Virtues, Loving Words from Jesus. And you don't have to be a follower of Jesus, but there's always a message here for somebody. So let's see what his message is for you. Pray always. Yeah. So I feel like when you're, you know, stressing about things, just pray about it. Ask for relief. Ask for the answers, especially if you are not sure if you can do this again or whatever the situation is coming in. It could be like getting married second time, third time around um, or getting involved in a relationship, really opening up your heart because I feel like your emotions are a little closed off because the lid is on that cup there. Um, but pray, meditate as much as you can um, and believe that what's being told to you here is all good and in your favor. 
All right, Gemini. So I hope that you enjoyed that message. And I do hope that you have a very happy new year. Please do hit the like and subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate that. And I will speak to you guys very soon. Take care.